welcome to World Tempest and Watches and Wonders Day 3. We have a fun-packed program for you today. We're going to be kicking off with the World Tempest Taxi. I was with Nicolas Beretsky from Mont Blanc earlier today. And then we're going to go over to Jordi, who's at Jeje Le Coudre, for his daily booth tour. Brice is chatting with uh, our partner, Deremy Adjoudown from GMT Africa and Middle East. He's also the owner of Zaka Boutiques. And Suzanne is going to be over at Chapek looking at one of their key novelties. Suzanne is also going to be doing our blind date for today at Roger Duby, so I'm really looking forward to that. And our guest of the day is none other than Guido Terini. So now let's go over to the taxi downtown Geneva. Good morning, Nicola. Thank you so much for joining me. Are you ready to go to the fair? I'm ready, Sophie. I'm looking forward to Excellent. it. Excellent. All right, let's go then. I've driven way too far. <laughs> I could have told you because uh, okay. I How used to live in Lausanne, so I if you're going that direction, you have to leave at Copic. Get to Odeon. Lovely. Now we have a traffic jam. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Sophie, you are the best driver oh, no. ever. <laughs> oh, dear. That wasn't planned. When's your first appointment? Nine. Nine. Okay. So it's OK. It's been a while since you've seen everyone all together. Wasn't he there? Oh, shh. I love starting the day with a nice ride and a chat. That was really good fun. And now over to Jordi, who's at Jeja Le Coudre. Hi Sophie, today I am visiting Jeger Le Coul and I am actually with Mathieu Sore, Product Marketing and Heritage Director. So Mathieu, what is the theme of this year's Jeger Le Coul booth? This year the theme is about the golden ratio. It's a mythical number that is expressed actually in the reverso. We have kept the same proportion of the golden ratio in the reverso since 1931. Yeah, and how does the booth reflect the watches you are releasing this year? We will try to have a booth that is as much open as possible with this incredible water feature. It is, and yeah. And all the novelties are around this, uh, you know, beautiful Agora uh, to you know, really highlight their beauty, highlight their harmony and their symmetry with the golden ratio in mind. Well, thank you so much, Mathieu. Back to you, Sophie. Now it's time to catch up with Brees and the most energetic man in the whole of the watch industry, Deremy Adjidown. Hi, Deremy. Hi, Brees. You are the publisher of GMT GCC and GMT Africa. Sometimes. We welcome <laughs> you here on uh, Watches in Wonder. And I'm going to ask you to pick up three questions. OK, let's start with blue. I love blue. My favorite color is blue. If you could have a superpower, what would you like to be able to do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd love to be able to fly around the world in nanoseconds. Because one of my favorite things or one of my dreams is to visit every country in the world. So if I was a superpower, I could literally just up and go, fly nanosecond and in different countries every day, every day. That is what I would like to do. Sounds exciting. Yes, I love travel. Orange. Oh, I got two. Now? These are tough questions, guys. Um, do you match your watches to your sneakers at Watches and Wonders? <laughs> well, let's have a look. I've got a green watch and I've got blue sneakers. Yes, I do. <laughs> I love matching my watches to my sneakers. Thank you. Uh, the man is so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told this regularly. <laughs> Please, uh, now we finish with the yellow one. Oh, yellow. Actually, Bruce, do you match your sneakers with your watch? Uh, match with something else. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll leave that. Um, name one watch brand that isn't at Watches and Wonders that you would like to see here. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh, <laughs> Bruce, where did you get me from on that one? <laughs> um, Dibetune. I'd love to see Dibetune here. I'm a big fan of Dibetune and uh, great trajectory, fantastic. Yeah. They should be here. I agree. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Doremi, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Always wonderful to see you. Enjoy your nanosecond strips. <laughs> Suzanne is over at Chapek now for a showcase with one of their key novelties. 
Hi, all Tippers family, and welcome back to the Showcase Sessions live from Watches and Wonders 2023, where we have the newly launched Chafik Antarctic Revelation for a precious few minutes so we can get it under the high resolution camera for a close up view. Now, you guys remember the first Antarctic, of course, the sport chic watch that modernized the entire visual identity of the Chafik collection, which was previously linked deeply to the look of Francois Chafik's historic watches. Although audiences absolutely loved the watch, what they went crazy for was the movement, the SXH5, which debuted in the Antarctic collection. This movement in the new Chapik Antarctic Revelation is the SXH7. You can immediately see that it's highly open worked, allowing us to wear the watch and enjoy the movement at the same time without having to take it off your wrist. It's so familiar, yet new at the same time, thanks to how recognizable the aesthetic is combined with the open-worked approach. These angled bridges, for example, are a visual signature of the Antarctic collection by now. In the SXH7, they are a recurring motif underlining the strengthening of the brand's identity via this collection. Now, some technical modifications did have to be made in order to skeletize this movement since it wasn't originally intended as an open-worked movement. The second hand has now been moved to a subdial between four and five o'clock since the bridge that allowed for a center seconds display was removed in the process of skeletonizing the movement. I actually think this works so much better. However, as you can imagine how a central seconds hand could be quite challenging to read against the visual complexity of the skeleton movement. Having this off-center sapphire ring for the second subdial is therefore a pretty savvy move. Now, if you'd like to discover all the details of this watch, keep an eye out for our next video with Chapik together with brand CEO Xavier de Hochmoyhelle, who will give us a real insider's look at the development process of the Antarctic Revelation. Back to you, Sophie. And back to Suzanne again, who's doing a blind date at Roger Dubuis. Hi, Walter First Family. Thanks for joining us for our new video series where I and a watch expert will be identifying watches whilst blindfolded. We have with us today uh, our good friend, uh, Craig Critin from Roger de Brie, who is a real member of the Geek Squad. And I think we'll have a bit of fun today. Let's get started. You commence? You start? Oh, it's clear. <laughs> Do it sweet. Yeah, that's four. That's four balances. In terms of the material. Titanium. Yes. Okay. It's quite heavy for a titanium watch. Yeah, it's a movement. The movement is big. Mm -hmm. But it's a quatuor. And for me, it's a titanium. titanium. I hesitated with the carbon, mm -hmm. but the soft touch. Exactly, is, because that's really interesting. Titanium. Normally, for such a soft finish, I wouldn't expect it to be a titanium one. Normally, but with a titanium yes. one, you have a much more, um, you can feel much more texture. Yeah, but this the one, the titanium is uh, for this collection was a uh, um, like microbier. Micro ah, yeah. sandblasted. Sandblasted. Wow! Yes. yes. <laughs> and it's um and it's a black uh, PVD. Black DLC. DLC. Well, yeah. it's a PVD process. Exactly. For me, the sun is like the cricket. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So, you know, like um, if you ever have insomnia, trouble sleeping at night, just get one of these. You'll be off to sleep like that. And our guest of the day is none other than Guido Terrini, who is joining us on the World Tempest sofa for a chat. Hello Guido, thank you so much for joining us on the World Tempest sofa this morning. Thank you, it's a pleasure so, to be with you. It's a pleasure for me too. Tell me, um, what's new for Parmigiani? How's the show going? What can you tell us? Uh, we're still living this fantastic uh, moment because the brand is really on fire. Everybody's asking about us and uh, we try to keep uh, the desirability through innovation, through creativity, through the consistency of the style and uh, people are really appreciating it because you see that there is a language which is common and it's consistent and it's uh, deep so uh, we're very very pleased with that. Uh, the, probably the most important innovation we're doing is our second world premiere on the Tonda PF after last year's uh, Gemtira Trapante who was a big surprise for the industry 
We are interpreting another function in a Parmigiani way, which uh, then we transformed and it became something that didn't exist before, so we called it Minute Rattrapant. And it's something that gives you the ability to master a moment in which you have to stop doing something and start doing something else, which can be like uh, leaving from the lounge to go to the gate or uh, stop speaking after 10 minutes if you have a speech to do or cooking your pasta al dente. And uh, it came basically from the idea of uh, transforming, uh, transforming the function of a rotating basil of a, of a scuba onto the movement. And uh, it's not a scuba anymore, no, so, no. And, uh, and it becomes something really fun to use and very practical and very elegant. Um, one last question, it's just, I'm just curious, when you come into the fair, do you have sort of set goals and targets for what you want to achieve <laughs> before you start? Is there anything you'd share? <laughs> Well, I start having a bit of a problem with my forecasting capacities because okay. <laughs> it's always underestimating. So, uh, oh, well, that's good in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's good, but uh, I, I mean, the problem with this uh, incredible mm, uh, appeal that the brand has uh, reached the bank, probably the, the most sophisticated um, clients in the industry because we're talking to people very educated and people that are understated, that are, have personal choices, so they don't really follow the flow. And, uh, and they are very demanding. So when you are, uh, when you when you see that the response of what you do is so appreciated, and you start having a waiting list, which is important uh, for you, just for a reference. Last year's uh, GMT Ratapante, we took uh, we have a waiting list which is seven times the production we put in in production last year. Of course, we have to replan and we have to accelerate, but it takes time to adjust a production of watches about a year. So now we're receiving what we increased in production. So, uh, and, and you have people who are waiting patiently, but not everybody has the patience to, to wait and, and it becomes a frustration. So I am not uh, willing to create desire by withholding the product to our customers. On the contrary, I would love them to enjoy it. Uh, uh, but this has to be done in a way which is uh, consistent with uh, an evolution. You can't go faster than the music you say yeah, in, yeah, in exactly. Switzerland, so yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Oh, the problem is you're just creating too much lovely stuff. <laughs> you, know, you know, you need to like tone it down. Yeah. When you create, you put all your heart in it and you try to do it yeah, as, in the best way. Course. And um, we are obviously overwhelmed by, by the, the, the comments. It's really beyond the numbers, it's really the appreciation of, uh, of the of why we are doing this and it's fully understood. Yeah, well, it's very well deserved. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see, I will see you around. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Until then, have a wonderful evening. <laughs>